Okay, here we've got question six. As always, if you haven't done so already, haven't done a go at this question already, pause the video now and have a go. It will help a lot. Okay, this question is a volume question, and uh, we're asked to work out the volume of a cylinder. Um, we're told that the base, the diameter of the base, the diameter of the base is 14 centimeters, and the height is 12. They're the key dimensions. Um, as a cylinder acts like a prism, it isn't actually a prism, but it acts like a prism. We can work out the volume by working out the end of the prism, the cross-sectional area, and then times in by its height or length. And we know the height is 12. Now, to work out the end of the prism, we've got to realize that's a circle, and uh, we're told the diameter of the circle is 14 centimeters. And for the area of a circle, we need pi times the radius squared, which is the radius times the radius. We're told the diameter is 14, so the radius must be 7 because that's halfway across. The diameter is all the way across the circle, the radius is halfway. So the area is going to be pi times 7 times 7, which is 49 pi. Okay. Okay, so 49 pi is going to be equal to 153.938. Da, da, da. Now it's very important you leave this number in your calculator or leave it as 49 pi. If you start rounding now, your answer is going to be inaccurate. So that's the area of the end, that's the cross sectional area. We've got times that by 12, so we've got 49 pi times by 12. That would give us um, 588 pi or uh, 1847.264 dot dot. Okay. Now you're told to leave, give your answer to a suitable degree of accuracy. Okay, so far we've earned three out of the four marks. There's one actual mark for rounding this question, and, and the exam paper should have one mark on it for rounding. Suitable degree of accuracy, um, if in doubt, always go to three significant figures. So we're looking at the first three digits. This is the key one the 4 or 40, so we're going to round it to the nearest 10 and that would be 1850 centimeters cubed. Um, quite often you can do two significant figures um, which would be to the nearest 100 which is 1800 centimeters cubed. Either of those two are correct for four marks. In this question where do we get the marks? Well, um, if, if, you, if they see you've done a 7 you'll get a mark, or if you've written out the formula for the area, that's the same mark. Um, times in this answer by 12, doing this times in by 12 is another method mark. So there's a method mark there, a method mark here. Um, this answer, answer here, or here, gives us an answer mark. And then the rounding mark, which is at a that's uh, a B1 mark, which means that they've just seen the answer and nothing else. So, four marks.